If you were me and you were gonna train legs in about two hours, what would you eat? Kind of in the mood for oatmeal? I don't know. Britt's over here making some pancakes. Don't think I'm really in the mood for those. So I think I've decided on doing a bunch of rice cakes because now that I'm thinking about it, I'm not sure because I'm hungry and I feel like if I eat these oats, which I actually just picked these up and haven't even had them yet, but uh, 100 calories, these are the um, oat fit from Target. So, whoops, first time finding these. Good macros, two fat, 18 carb. And uh, yeah, so got those, but I think we're going to do a bunch of these rice cakes, uh, cherry chocolate, Greek yogurt. So. Yeah, maybe I'll do that. Hey, look, I'm back and I changed my mind again. So we're not going with the Greek yogurt. You guys know you all have those foods that sit in your stomach differently. Oatmeal for me takes a little while to digest. Yogurt sometimes just has a yogurty feeling in your stomach and before leg day, I'm just not in the mood for that. So we are still sticking with the rice cakes, but we're going to make a sludge using protein powder. The uh, chocolate banana version right here. This is the Banana peanut butter, 100 calories per serving. So for those of you guys who have never seen this brand better in peanut butter before, it's like peanut butter, just a lot lower in fat, only two grams, but a bit higher in carbs. So maybe we'll mix this with this. We got, this sounds good now, chocolate banana protein, banana peanut butter, rice cakes, and we're good to go. Do you guys think this peanut butter will melt in the microwave? I'm not sure, but we're gonna try it out, and if it fails, it fails. So we're gonna take a serving of this, throw it in here, melt it, then make the sludge so it mixes in better. So let's give this a go. All right, don't let me down. I'm watching you, bro. That looks pretty good. All right, so sludge. You got the melted peanut butter. You don't need to use this, but sludge is just protein powder and water or milk or your liquid of choice mixed together. So got a scoop of protein. Over there. We'll do uh, about a scoop and a half here. And now, just take, I'm just using some water. You don't want to put too much. You can always add war, <laughs> war. war. You can always add more, but if you put too much water and make it too liquidy, then you have to try and thicken it back up, and that's no fun. So you can see right now it's starting to come together, but definitely needs a bit more water. Boom. So this is the exact consistency we're looking for. It's like pudding. We could spread it right on the rice cakes. And we'll probably go with, these are fit and active, just like all of us on this channel. It's uh, 40 calories per rice cake, which is pretty typical. So there's two in there, and there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven in there. So maybe I'll just have this sleeve right here. How is it? This is actually really good. It's still warm from the heated up peanut butter. And this is how you do it, guys. You make the sludge, you throw it on top of the rice cake, you spread it, you break a piece of your rice cake <laughs> off, you don't let it go to waste, and then you eat. <laughs> How does it feel? Hey, so we are back in the gym for leg day, doing some warm ups here. We got squats, deadlifts, and some other accessory movements. And a bunch of people have been asking for a mobility routine video. And I've covered this before in previous videos, and my views on mobility work have changed slightly over the last couple of weeks or so. And not to say I don't think mobility work is important, but I don't do it to the extent that I used to. And I see people do this all the time where they spend 30 or 40 minutes hooking up bands to machines and stretching while their workout's only 45 minutes to an hour long. So you're spending as much time doing mobility as you are actually training. So I've taken a different approach. I've been doing some dynamic style warm ups, and for the most part, I warm up with the squat. So if the exercise that I'm trying to do that day is a squat, then I warm up by squatting. The movement with either a goblet squat with a kettlebell or a dumbbell, body weight, the bar, 
a 25, a 35, 45, and keep working my way up. And the same goes for other exercises. I think a great way to warm up for a specific exercise is by actually doing that exercise. So I'm not against mobility bands. I'm not against foam rolling or laying on lacrosse balls or any of that. But I do think that you know, some people overthink it and overdo it. And I've noticed that my squat's been looking better by doing a bit less mobility work. So I highly recommend using yourself as an experiment. Maybe try some static stretching after your workout and try doing some other mobility work outside of the gym. So when you get into the gym, you could just focus on your training. So I wanna reiterate that I'm not against doing mobility work or any of those exercises to help get you more flexible and ready for your workout, but this is just an experiment I've been working with for myself and it seems to be doing pretty well for me. All right, so last squat session, we hit 225 and we were doing sets of five. Now, I just threw another five pounds on each side and that's one thing that I've been guilty of is with my progression scheme, you know, we tend to come into the gym and we only look at the 10 pound plates, the 25 pound plates, the plates, the 45 pounds, but we forget that there's five pounds, there's two and a half pounds, there's one and a quarter pounds, and all of that is progress. If you add two pounds to your squat in a week, in two weeks, in a month, that's progress. So I've been guilty of trying to focus on too big of jumps and um, it's just been holding me back. So what I'm going for now is three sets of three with 235 and then the next session I'll probably go for three sets of five with the same weight once I hit five reps I'll increase the weight so just small progressions guys it's not about it's not about trying to get three three plates yes I want to squat three plates I want to squat four plates but the jumps don't work like that so one day at a time progress is progress <laughs> I gotta tell you something. I saw the grossest thing in my life today. So here I am getting my mind right, getting ready for the 235 pounds for a set of three. And I just want to say thank you guys all for the comments you've been leaving, whether they're constructive or you're attacking me for my strength or anything like that. I do tend to be overly critical of myself. I've always been that way and I'm always critiquing myself trying to get better. And some people are telling me that might be holding me back. The squats look fine. You know, stop focusing so much on technique and everything and just go in there and lift the weight. And you guys are right. And I take your criticisms. I take your comments and your feedback into consideration when I step into that gym. And I'm always just trying to better myself. So when you guys provide me with that feedback and give me a second, third, and 2000th opinion, however many people are commenting, that really does help me out and it helps me to make progress. So I really want to thank you guys all for that. And um, yeah, really happy with the way things are going. So while I was doing that, Brittany was doing some leg press over here and then moved into some split squats on the Smith's machine. Now she still has to somewhat take it easy as per the doctor's orders. And I know a lot of people go into the gym when their doctor tells them not to do something and they do it anyway. But Brittany still has the stitches in her mouth and if she overexerts herself, she gets like a pulsating feeling and it could start bleeding again. And that's not what we want because that will be another huge setback. So I believe at the end of this month, they will be removing those stitches and she'll be good to go. So with that said, moving on to deadlifts here. So deadlifts after the squats, I was already pretty tired, but I was feeling so fired up and good. So we were going for sets of five with 315 pounds. And I would say these were moving really well. My form looks better than it did last week when I was working with 275. So slow progressions, not only in weight, but in technique as well. So I'll let you watch these next couple of clips of deadlifts and then we'll come back and talk to you. Oh, 
And I'm back to finish off this commentary here. So this is Brittany doing what's called cable pull throughs. And yes, guys, you could do this too. It is a great exercise if you've never tried it before. It will absolutely crush your glutes. There's constant tension. So throughout the entire range of motion, you can see there's tension there. There's tension at the top with the cable pulling back. And it's a great way to really fire those glutes. So I like to use it as a warm up exercise sometimes before squats and deadlifts as well to get myself ready to go. So guys, girls, do some cable pull throughs. You won't regret it and you will love it. Trust me, you'll love it or maybe you'll hate it. But either way, just do them. All right, so that's this, super set, single leg hamstring curl. So this is coming to the end of the workout and the commentary. I did two more exercises. What you see here is just a standing single leg hamstring curl, mainly because someone else was using the lying leg curl machine. But I do like to work each leg independently of one another from time to time. And then I finished off with some really high rep leg extension. So pretty much towards the end of my workout, I like to do a monster drop set where I start really heavy, pretty much go to about failure, then go ahead and drop the weight to something lighter and kind of just repeat that until I can't really go anymore. So that was the end of the workout. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did enjoy the video, feel free to click that thumbs up button. That really helps the channel out. And hold on a second. What is he doing? What is he doing? Running, running. He is running. Back from the gym, post-workout, a shake, nah. Chipotle, nope. Ice cream, yeah. So I want to actually uh, give a big thank you to Halo Top. They, um, they sent me out, actually they sent a bunch of pints in dry ice containers and I wasn't home but it still stayed cold. And as you can tell, I pretty much did some damage on a few of them already, but they sent out mint chip. Let's go through this quick. Uh, chocolate mocha chip. Cake batter. Unbelievably good. Almost gone. Strawberry. And vanilla and chocolate. That one's gone. But this is actually, um, oh wait, not vanilla. Lemon cake. So about 240 calories per pint or 280, depending on which flavor you get. Macros, almost unbeatable. Probably hands down the most macro friendly, best tasting ice cream. So I know a lot of you guys probably heard of um, Arctic Zero where it's like 150 calories per pint. That tastes like water, not very flavorful. This is creamy, this is good. It's got good macros. Let's just grab one, with my eyes closed and redo the macros. This guy. So we got birthday cake, 280 calories per pint, two grams of fat per serving, so eight grams in the whole thing, 15 grams of carbs per serving, so 60 in the whole thing, and six grams of protein, so 24 in the whole thing. Not to mention 20 grams of fiber in a pint of ice cream. So if you can find this in your store, I know you guys are gonna ask me where can you get it. I'm not 100% sure. Go on halotop.com, it's probably the site, yes. And I think they have a store locator, so you can find it in a local store near you. But uh, I just want to thank Halo Top for sending these out. They are absolutely delicious, and I will definitely be buying them again. And I highly do recommend them. So good. It's so good. It's creamy. It's got little, like, teeny, teeny, teeny candy pieces. You want to try it? No, them. You want to try it? Mm. Yeah. Right? Mm. It's like sugary tasting, very mm -hmm. sweet. Awesome. Like a sugar cookie. Mm -hmm. Good job, Halo Top. So you made it to the end of the video. What are you guys thinking about these longer vlogs? You like them? Should I keep them up or should I make them a bit shorter? You guys let me know if you did enjoy it. Please click that like button as that really helps this channel out. If you want to watch the previous video, join the VIP list, apply for online coaching, or subscribe to this channel, you could do so by clicking any of those boxes on this screen. And another reminder that the NASM is still looking for personal trainers. So if being a certified personal trainer is something that you've always been interested in and wanna try it out for free for two weeks, visit the link in the description box below, www.myusatrainer.com slash Maddie, and you could start your free 14-day trial. So thanks again for watching, everybody. I appreciate the support as always. And until next time, we'll see you all in the next video.